Hi, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Tony Chukura. Today, I want to show you how I started a home service business with no capital of my own and grow it so massively. Have you ever heard the statement that says that lack of capital is not an excuse for not making it a life but lack of idea? Do you believe in that? Let's see how I was able to implement this idea in my life as a young fresh graduate and how it turned out. You have a sound idea in your head but you don't have the money to implement the idea. There are so many people out there who also have large quantity of money. They don't know what to put the money into. They are looking for opportunities that will present them itself so that they can put in their money and make money from there. If you happen to have sound idea and you share with such a person, what happens? You have handed over your wisdom and in return, you can go into collaboration with such person and you've started your own business. That was my case back then in the year 2002 when as a young fresher who doesn't want to work for anybody want to start his own business but lack the capital to start up i was coming up with different ideas upon ideas you know of what to do business to float and i came up with this idea of floating a home service business that idea was to render service to people who need uh, nannies house helps, uh, drivers, gardeners, launders, you know, home services. What I did back then was I discussed with a friend of mine. I shared the idea with him. I might not happen to be a fresher also from school who is also looking for what to do. He bought into the idea and we decided to give it a trial. He discussed with a brother, an elderly brother who has an office somewhere and uh, we decided to use his office. And what we did was we used A4 paper. We used a paper like this, A4 paper. Okay, we printed printed vacancy, nannies, uh, drivers, house helps, gardeners, launders. Okay, we printed we printed it on A4 paper like this and we started pasting it all over the neighborhood where our office is, just within our environment. Then we are pasting it all over the place. We also wrote a letter addressed to different churches around who we'll go to their pastor, hand over the letter to them, telling them that our company is employing such so and so people, people who can work as nannies, cooks, drivers. And they were so glad because there are a lot of unemployed people in their churches. So over the pulpit, they helped us to announce that so and so company is recruiting nannies, cooks, drivers, you know, house helps and so on and so forth. And guess what happened? On Monday, when I came to the office, I couldn't see any space to pass. So many people were out there waiting for us to open office in the morning. People who are interested in the vacancy that we advertised. And here I am, a young man coming into the office, seeing huge crowd for the first time in my life waiting for me. To cut the long story short, we uh, brief them on what we are up to. We give them a form, they fill their names and what they can do, okay, their addresses. They give us their personal details and we ask them to come back the next day for orientation. And when they came the next day, what did they do? We, we didn't start training them on uh, what they know because we have professional drivers there, we have launders, we have cooks, we have um, uh, nannies. I was not even married then. So I wouldn't know how they can take care of children. So all of them with their different ideas, different experiences, their professional ideas, they came together the next day and we started giving them orientation. And what we are teaching them is, okay, um, you are working for our company. You are not working for the company we are sending you to. Okay, you are working for us. We are, okay, if we, we are the ones to pay you your salary. If you have any complaints, come to us, report to us, we address it, okay? We discuss with our clients. So we give them all this orientation, and by the time we are satisfied, we have we ended up recruiting up to 30 people. I didn't have any money in my, cap in my pocket. I didn't have any capital. All I had was the idea on how to run the business. And what we did next was we printed flyers, courtesy of uh, Emmanuel, my partner. He's the one that was bringing the home money. And then on the flyer, we, we wrote, uh, are you looking for nannies, cooks, 
uh, gardeners, drivers, and so on and so forth. If yes, please call this number. We uh, will render some services to you. And what we did was significant. We took those flyers, we went to areas where we know that the people can, who can afford our services live. We went to churches, we went to you know gatherings where we are sure that we can get our target audience. We went there and we started sharing our flyers. We were going from house to house, knocking on gates, okay? The security will open the gate, we hand over the flyer. Please help us to hand this over to your boss. These are the services that we are rendering. We went from house to house and then we went to churches after the service. We started sharing our flyers to okay people we know that have cars as are parking their cars as they are entering their cars. We are handing over our flyers to them and so on and so forth. And guess what happened on Monday morning? Our phone started buzzing. People that did our services started calling. Business have started. It was awesome, an awesome experience. Okay, and that. Uh, goes on to prove what Napoleon Hill said. Napoleon Hill says something. He said, how else is one who does not have startup capital, how else do you expect to start generating money other than by rendering quality service to humanity? Service business is just the best for you, my friends. If you are looking for a business to start and you don't have startup capital, look for a service to render. We started this service and people started coming. We started handing over our, cost, our staff. Okay, we sent out nannies, we sent out cleaners to different to hospitals and to homes, we sent out uh, um, uh, drivers, okay, to different people. And at the end of the month, our clients, they pay us our service charge, and from the service charge that they pay to us, we pay salaries. Everybody's happy. Business has started. Okay, that was how we floated this home service business and the business grew so massive okay so friends lack of capital shouldn't hold you down you have a sound idea go ahead look for someone to share the idea with discuss your ideas with the person find out if you can collaborate with anybody okay when the mind is willing to do something the mind will have a thousand ways of doing it but when the mind is not willing it will have a thousand excuses once you have made up your mind, once you have decided on what to do, go ahead and this, share with somebody, especially if you don't have capital to get started, share with someone and who knows, you can float a business that will grow to become a multi-million naira business despite you not having capital in your pocket. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, feel free to click on the subscription button below to subscribe so that when next I post my video, you will be notified and you can always be part of the awesome video tutorials that we are bringing to you on how you can start up business. You can start small and grow your business to become a multi-million Naira business tomorrow. Thank you for your audience. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.